Euzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi rabbil âlemin. Ve salatu ve selamü aleyhi ve sellem. Seyyidina ve Mevlana Muhammed Mustafa sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Bimada da kumun azarakum seyyi resulü kerim. Habibi nazi. Bir hadir merşis maddi ya sultan ile uliye meşgâlini feyze dağıstani. Şu Muhammed Nazım Hakkani ve şeyh-i şahım kabani, şeyh-i adnan kabani, şeyh-i Muhammed Azim. Bimada da kumun azarakum. Hadir merşis ya rabbana aşkırdayım. Auzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, ati Rasul, ulun amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajisu, ta'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahan. And but for the grace of Allah that He keeps us in existence and under His rahmah and His mercy inshaAllah always. That uh, Thursday night is an interactive night in which to go over the tafakkur and the meditation and view we'll find that this way is based on that ability that if Allah wants you to be from the understanding of this Ashab al kaf and that Allah wants you to accompany those rijal and those servants of Allah then the cave comes to the beginning of the surah to teach us that uh, Allah is going to want you to leave the satanic understandings that this abode of satanic understandings, evilness, whatever people want to call it and move towards your heavenly realm and your heavenly reality. And that's going to require testing, that's going to require good characteristics and tafakkur is how to connect with your inner dimension and inner reality. Using the faculties of the physical body to reach towards the faculties of the soul. That for every sense is in two. You have a sense of hearing from your ears and then the sense of hearing from your soul that has to be developed. To hear from your soul you have to turn off the hearing of the body. Means that's going to be in your tafakkur you contemplate and begin to hear what the message of your soul is saying to you. You have to slow down in life. When you feel your heart is beating there's a, there's a signal coming, there's some sort of a, a difficulty, an energy, a warning, means like a buzzing noise that you've got mail. And you have to be able to check in, close your eyes and begin to hear your soul, what, what's happening. You have physical eyes and you have spiritual eyes, the physical eyes Shaitan want to occupy the physical eyes and put all the candies in front of the physical eyes as to darken your spiritual eyes. So that when you sit and make your tafakkur you have to detox from your physical eyes, you have to clean what your physical eyes saw and you go into your spiritual eyes. And that asking, Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, I'm nothing, I'm nothing and let me to enter into that realm of light in which I just want to be in that world of light and be under that energy. So for every sense, the sense of touch, the sense of taste, the sense of smell, the sense of hearing, the sense of seeing is physical and spiritual. In this month of testing and difficulty the tafakkur and the contemplation has a correct and incorrect that when a test comes to you, you don't need to know about the characters of the test. Big I think we should make a highlight and a banner that this life is but a play. Don't worry about the actors but you should fear the one who wrote it. Say not fear then be worried about or focus on the one who wrote this qissa, this play, this life of ours. Everybody's lost in the characters. Test comes, difficulty comes, a battle comes, argument comes. It's more about you said, he said, she said. And I want to point to you, you're wrong, she's wrong, they're wrong, I'm right. That's not tafakkur. And then you want to sit in tafakkur and contemplate and meditate how they were all wrong and I'm the right one and they're all wrong. That's an egoistic meditation which is not supported. As much as you engage and indulge your nafs, they all leave. Heavenly madad leaves 
and you are left with your nafs. So when you go to pagan country you see the manifestation of their nafs everywhere. We went to Bali with Mawlana Shaykh and it was horrific statues with all their genitalia out, all their horrible faces everywhere. You see what this is? It's the nafs of people who sit and do meditation to themselves. They sit, they go into their issues and they don't find Allah they find their reality of their horrific desires. Because everyone is wrong in your meditation except you, everyone's wrong because that's now nafsani. Everyone's wrong and before you know it the nafs begins to appear as a demonic creature until they began to follow it, they worshipped it and then they began to feed it. So in those countries they make these demonic statues and then they were putting food under it. And they don't have eyes to see that only the dogs are eating the food. There's no God coming to eat the food. You putting the fruit, the rice, everything, if the fruit was good the kids would come and take it. And anything nobody wanted there was dogs everywhere eating it. So it means you projected what you be believe to be and Allah described, have you seen those who make their desire their God, their Lord, their Rabb? Their desire is based on their nafs, everyone's wrong, I'm meditating, they're all at fault. I am the good one and now that nafs will begin to appear to that person and it shows itself in a demonic form. So then this tafakkur that they're teaching for us is that no matter what you're wrong. Because we said this hand came from Allah everything under this tawheed is La ilaha illallah. So difficulty comes, I sit to begin to meditate, oh Ya Rabbi give me, give me a patience, I'm going to wash, I'm going to sit and make my tafakkur and then I'm going to say, Ya Rabbi fa'abudu amri inna Allah inna Allahu basirun bi libad. Ya Rabbi you see my condition, I'm now in difficulty, Ya Rabbi I'm in difficulty. Give me a sakina, give me a patience within my heart and then they begin to teach, make your istighfar, make your istighfar, make your istighfar. This now your cool down phase. Then you begin to make your salawat on Prophet Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Sayyidina Muhammad, 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 Muhammad going to sujood. I say, Ya Rabbi what is it that you want me to understand from this test? That there is nobody wrong, it's just me the wrong, what am I to learn from this test? And if you can sit like that, sit like that, even just for a few minutes get up then if you can't do it again, then do it again, do it again and live a life in which you're wrong, completely wrong. That you don't want to make your nafs, your ego victorious but I want to understand what is the message that you are sending to me because it could not have come other than with Allah's permission. If you know yourself that you love Allah you love Sayyidina Muhammad you're watching this broadcast, you are from the lovers of Prophet otherwise you would have tuned out a long time ago. Your lover, what Allah wants to show you? And then you begin to talk to your soul, your soul will talk to you. Allah will push your soul to explain to you, be patient, we don't want you to open your mouth. We want to see how much we can squeeze you, how much we can, how much we're going to take you from. I think when we first came here we gave explain. everybody comes as a filet mignon. Jai you don't know my background, my eloquency, who I am, I'm a big filet. So you're a big filet, no problem. They have a thing that makes hamburgers. They put the filet in the grinder and they start to grind. Every filet. Every chicken, whatever you are, it comes out the same at the end, <laughs> grounded, completely ground beef so that you can be nice made into little patties. That's our life, see? that's all Allah wants and that becomes every signal. If you find yourself to be guilty, I did nothing, I did absolutely nothing. Then Allah just said, then no problem on you, you're not now in an issue of a sin but I still want something from you. 
if you did nothing in this difficulty that you're meditating about, Allah still wants something from you. There's the level in which you're doing sins and Allah give you difficulty to say, stop the sins. You go somewhere your hand burn, somebody's nazar, some difficulty came. When you pass those and it's not about always the sin, I did something wrong, it can be mixed in with those. But if you find at a time say, I did nothing wrong, I did no, no sin, what is it that you want? There's always something that Allah wants. I want to see your level of patience. Didn't I test uh, Sayyidina Ayyub? Ayyub is John out the Sabra Ayyub. Yeah, Sabra Ayyub. I tested him with sickness, I tested him with loss of his children and family, I tested him with loss of wealth. Are you better than my Prophet? So we say, no Ya Rabbi Stafra, we don't want to be tested like Sayyidina Ayyub, not at that level, but that's a dalil in life that Allah wants to test. Whether you're sinless or not, whether you're great or not, Allah wants something from it. So the tafakkur is not about finding everybody guilty, but what is it that you want from me? Not why did the test come, Allah doesn't explain and need to explain to me why, but Ya Rabbi what is it the character that you want from me? Begin to teach, I want sabr. Because if you inherit sabr, if you inherit patience, Allah would dress you with all of His names and attributes. So this is the most difficult to achieve. So no matter how puck and how great you think you are, the door of sabr is the most difficult. So even if you go through all your sins, everything, 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 Every answer for the tafakkur will come, I want sabr. If something happened to you, I want patience. So in patience you're going to use your tools, I'm going to get meditate, I'm going to get angry, I got to wash, I got to do my salawats, I have to do all my practices to bring this fire down. Then forgive the play, the characters of the play, it's not them that are guilty. This is a very high level of tawheed, right? Allah says, in, in any scene of your movie of your life you have three choices, eye for eye, somebody did something, you do something to them, that's it, you're at the lowest level, there's no growth from that. Your second choice, something did something wrong to you, you want retribution, you want money. I don't want to hurt the person but does some money from them would make me happy, I get over it. That's again a second level that's not from Allah The third in any scene in life is, Ya Rabbi I don't want anything from them, I turn my case to you. Everything is in your hands Ya Rabbi. You do what you have to do with them, with me, with everything, I turn my case over to Allah that's the level that they're teaching. They're not teaching kindergarten, they're teaching from very advanced levels of Islamic reality. That this is not about retribution, this is not about giving your nafs any credibility, this is about turning your case over in life to Allah at the highest level. I was wronged and I was oppressed. Then Allah says, if you were truly oppressed every dua you make right now will be accepted by me. And only Allah live a life of oppression. Everybody oppresses them, everybody backbites them, everybody spreads slander and gossip and rumors about them. And Allah wants it that way because the voice of an oppressor is heard in Divinely Presence. There's a hikmah. Allah said, they were oppressing you, they were bad to you. Speak, that's why their du'as are accepted. Means there's a wisdom in how Allah wants to operate. You can't go around saying, I've been oppressed. I've been oppressed, Allah well, giving you a spiritual voice. You should have used it in your spirituality that you connect, meditate, Ya Rabbi, the, the oppression of this dunya is, is overwhelming me. Then Allah revealed to your heart and make du'a, pray for all those whom are oppressed, pray for all those whom are coming to your door in difficulty because verily the voice of the oppressed one is heard in Divinely Presence. So it means there's a wisdom in everything that's happening to our lives. So I don't focus on the players of this play, 
Oh Ya Rabbi, you know, destroy them, hurt them, give them difficulty. But they taught us in all of this is ask for their forgiveness. Ya Rabbi, they know not what they do. It's not about me and them, it's about me and you. What is it you want from me? Because then how can Allah test you if every time the characters are going to be cursed? So there was a big wali, he said, I want to die shaheed. And they come back and his spirituality, there's no war. How are you going to die shaheed? I don't know, I want to die shaheed. So on his deathbed he's lying down, somebody ran into the room, a burglar, and started to stab him. And then his murids all ran in to rip the person to pieces. Somebody's killing their shaykh right now. He said, no, 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 in the midst of his passing away, he said, no, 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 I prayed for it, this to happen to me. I prayed to reach this station, leave that one alone, it's not him. I cannot reach that station without that event taking place. It's tremendous wisdom in our lives. For someone to be raised, somebody fell. For somebody to have, somebody has not. And this is like an opposite and a rule of opposites. So then the station of walayat or the station of those who have good character, pray for those who are failing. Pray for those who are oppressing, that that was their qismat that was written. Pray for those who do the wrong and say, SubhanAllah Ya Rabbi for the, what you're giving to me of the right and of the good and of all the great that you want to raise me and I'm praying for all those who oppressed me and came against me and by means of their bad action you raised me. Pray that Allah Azawajal give us more, more understanding, inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly. Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.